Hello and welcome to Excel 2013. This is the IT guys, and today we're going to be looking at 10 quick shortcuts that are going to save you time. So the first of them is to insert the sum function, which is used all of the time, all of the time when you're using spreadsheets. So you could just type in, however, if we want to sum a column of numbers, like this example, then you can just press Alt and equals, and it'll automatically insert the sum function for you. Then when you press enter, you'll now have the sum of that column of numbers. So our next keyboard shortcut will be to select the entire spreadsheet. To do this, you just press Ctrl and A, and that will select the entire spreadsheet. Now what we want to do is learn how we can select a single column or row. To select a single column, you can press Ctrl and Space, and it will select the column that you had your cell selected in. If I wanted to select the entire row where I've got the cell selected, for example, this instance row 6, I press shift and space, and it will select the entire row. Now we want to know a quick way to get to the start or end of our spreadsheet, which is particularly useful in large spreadsheets. So, to get to the very start, which is A1, if we press control home, and that will take you to the very start of your spreadsheet. If you press control end, however, it'll take you to the end of your spreadsheet. In this case, that's G11. But if you have a much larger spreadsheet, it'll take you to the end of it. Next off, we want to be able to hide or unhide a column. So if I want to unhide, if I wanted to hide B, I could press have a cell in B selected, then press control and zero, and it will hide B. If I wanted to unhide it, I select a cell on either side of the hidden column, then I press Alt H O U L and it'll unhide the ball. In spreadsheets, you have to use the date all of the time. So there is obviously a quick way of inserting today's date. And the way you do that is you can press Ctrl, semicolon, and it'll insert today's date. So 22nd of November. In spreadsheets, you also have to use the time quite a lot. Now, the shortcut for this is very similar to one in the date. This time, you press Control Shift and semicolon, and it will insert the current time. Sometimes you might want to see the formulas in Microsoft Excel. To do this, you press Control, and then a the button normally found at the top left-hand side of your keyboard, which has this symbol on it. It's a little bit like a dash, but it's not quite a dash. If you press both of them, it will start displaying the formulas in the cells which you have selected. So if I select this, and then press Control, and then if I need a little dash, it will bring up the sum formula. Now, sometimes you might want to select different worksheets. So I've got three different worksheets at the bottom of this page. So if you go to the one to the right, we press Control and page down. And that will shift you to the worksheet that's to the right of your current worksheet. To go back to the left, then you press Control, page up, and you'll view the worksheet that's to the left of your current worksheet. So finally, oh, the last thing we've got to do is we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut that will allow us to enter the same thing into a large number of cells all at the same time. So if I'm going to type, say, 42, the answer to everything, into cell C3, if I wanted it to be in all of the grey selected cells, I could press Control Enter and it will select and add 42 into all of my selected cells. So that's been it for our top 10 shortcuts. There are many more shortcuts that you can use. I'll put a link to them in the description of the video. But for now, I hope you've like, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye.